any of that. I saw the class 20. Oh dear. Well, we're going to play it without. See, if, see how we get on. Right. Welcome to part two. We've managed to acquire D6911, which has come down from Scotland following its duty of boom time. There. Press T to open the doors on the train. You'll be notified at each station when it when it's time for departure. Right. So we are now in a tractor. Right. Let's uh, hope that there are no black fires around because it was this it was the predecessor to this that deafened me. I don't see any black fires, that's good. We don't have the road. Why do we not have the road? We should have the road. To a point. Oh, because he is coming across us. Okay. That's fine. Let's get back in the cab. It's starting to rain. Tractor hype, indeed. You've been keeping an eye on Canadian Pacific. Ooh. Is that a route that they're possibly going to be doing? Is this a coasty scenario? What do you mean, irascible? You live near Swanage, so you can take a day trip there, and even a day trip to the West Somerset Railway. Nice! <coughs> Alright, let's get it set up, shall we? Start releasing that brake. And that on that hood because it's uh right we have the road I don't like how far down that is but there we go is it made by Coasty no it's not made by Coasty this is made by uh who is it made by Sprinter I think the locomotive. Oh, is that the one that was on offer today? On the watercrest line. You don't remember the uh, actual heritage line. Uh, the watercrest is the mid hands. Right, clear for departure. Next stop is West Auckland. There go the doors. Let's let him know that we're going. Take the rest of the break off. Next stop, West Auckland. Uh, yeah, the watercress is the is the mid hands. That one I do know. Oh, thank goodness that echo's gone. Just mentioned boom time in Scotland, which is a series of scenarios made by Coasty for the Port Road. That's why. Oh, okay. I kind of wish I'd played them now, but I haven't. It might be by Coasty. Um, I don't remember. These have been there for a little while because he suggest uh, Sprinter suggested them, and then uh, I'm slowly doing them, but slowly is the operative word. I'll tell you who will know, and that's Mr. Scotsman. He will know exactly what's going on. Thank you very much, NASCAR. Are you playing Signalman today, yeah? Ah, good. Right, moving on. Whistle. Which is a horn, but hey. 
Right, we're in the 30 zone. Uh, boom Timer on Scotland is an epic series of scenarios. I would love it. I might have to give it a try then. <coughs> right, we're about to go into the 45. Let's leave them on. Even though that squeak is going to do my head in. Right, let's go. Let's put this into full growl, shall we? And come outside so we can hear it. Also, a load for called teamwork. Uh, I'll have to have a have a, a look out for them. Um, I think I have officially given up on writing scenarios. The dispatcher has done my head in far too often. Lots of lure. Oh, I like lots of lure. Right, there's the morbid for the 25. So we'll start breaking. Steamy! Right, 25 through the junction. It says that we're going to be on time for West Auckland, which is good. We have three minutes. Right, let's fire up again. Um, Irascible, can you whisper me the, the names of them series then please and I'll uh, try and subscribe to them. <coughs> Dispatcher is alright but you basically have to nurse him through everything and you should never try and do anything complex. Dom, go back, uh, Dom, I keep calling you Dom, you're Ed. Ed. Go back and have a look at my stream from the weekend where I literally rage quitted and deleted everything again because of that dispatcher. All I wanted was three trains in front of me. Three trains! Would the dispatcher do it? No. And I'd even put down a marker for me to sit and wait at for three minutes and it wouldn't let me. He was always like, no, you're ready to go. And I'm like, I'm not ready to go. There's another train due in front of me. Full. And he's like, no, you're ready to go. And I'm like, but I'm not supposed to be coming out here. I'm supposed to wait for the next train. And he's like, off you go. And then, occasionally, when, when he was like, okay, okay, I'll do it, I'll make you wait, he would then make everything else travel at point one of a mile of an hour. He's like, I don't know what's going on here. So I officially lost it with the dispatcher. He turned me into an official nervous wreck. I can't deal with him. Oh, excuse me. How far off the list is your scenario? That's the one the Scotsman suggested, isn't it? I might see if I can get onto that today, uh, Mr. Rogers. Excuse me. Right, stopping at Bishop uh, West Auckland platform two. Whereby we've stopped. And we're going to let the peoples on. 
The Crew Heritage Centre has extra resting the works on the grounds, which they open for tours as well as having operating sessions, which simulates the busy 19 and summer weekends and other things. But in, um, I certainly will, NASCAR. Um, when I've done, it's going to be, a, it's actually going to be a while, but when I've done the Heritage Railways, I want to see if I can do, like, museums and the such. Um, in which case, I might see if I can go and and uh, have a go and advertise it. Let me have a look for Mr. Rogers' scenario. Freight from Middleton. Um, uh, I can just have a look to see if we've got it. Right, time to move. Evenwood is next. Yeah, I've got that, so we can do that next. Right, we're in the 45, let's move. Also, time is flying one driving class 50. Hey? Oh, thank you, NASCAR. Chris, would you mean Times Flying 1.0 driving class 50? Two scenarios. Oh, okay. I, I've only got the one down there, but I'll do the freight from Middleton today. And if you can whisper me the title of the other one, I'll try and do that on Sunday. Breaking for the 20, which comes into place at this signal. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. And then we turn over. What's that, uh, irascible one, one link, one link to rule them all, and in the darkness bind them? <clears throat> oh, just listen to that growl.
can't remember. I'm trying to think of how the rest of that goes. Five for the Elven Lords. I did get the Lord of the Ring reference. Oh, yes. Uh, train Repairman, thank you very much for the host. Plus 37 Thrash Hype, yes. There's, there's, there's no diesel sound like it, is there? <coughs> I'm not saying it's the best diesel sound, but there's no diesel sound quite like it. Starting to rain again. Starting to rain again. Rain on the train again. Going down the drain again. Dear. Being a pain again. Break! We're stopping here. Stopped. Nicely done. <coughs> Lord of the Lord of the Rings Online is your guilty pleasure. You have a band that you compose music for in that game. Six L's playing modern-ish music on medieval instruments. Oh, cool. Uh, it's unique. Also, Class Twenty Two. I've not really heard the Class Twenty Twenty Flash. Uh, I'll have to give that one a go. Best diesel sound has to be a Dell ticket full power. Okay, we'll have to try that one too. Five elves on a hobbit. I've never played Lord of the Rings online. I have played Star Trek online. Well, clear for departure. Next stop is Cockfield Fell. Do not want to know what goes on in that field. Rooster field fell, I think is a better way of saying that. Keep it clean, keep it clean. CK Sim, hello, I had a great afternoon, got the Virgin DLC pack and wrote off the class. <laughs> Honestly, new trains and he ruins them already. Uh, by crashing it into some buffers and the HST was ruined by it tilting around a bend and then falling over like one of my trucks. Thanks. You ask a ball. Your captain is joining Bravo. Hoo ha ha! Adaltix is awesome too. I've been thinking of getting that Virgin pack. I might even pay full price for it, depending on uh, how much money I've got at the end of the month. But then it sales at the end of the month, and that prairie is going to be on sale, you see. And which do I want more, prairie or virgin pack? And that is a tough decision. Large prairie or virgin pack? Mm, I'm postponing that decision till the end of the month. How are you anyway, CK? Right, we're climbing up the one in 54, but it suddenly goes very level very soon. Something I did want to say when I started, and I didn't say it, but I'm going to say it now. 1 in 27, ouch. Gosh. That is a climb and a half. Let's grow that up. get to there. Alright, something I did want to say earlier that I didn't say, but I'm going to say it now, is thank you very much to all of you who are in chat right at the beginning of the stream, or very near. It really is a pleasure when I start streaming to see, like today, that there's uh, 14, 15 people waiting in stream. It really does set me up well for the evening. 
uh, and it's a real pleasure to see. So thank you guys who are who join right from the get go. Thank you to everybody who comes in midway too. But it really is a pleasure when I see people waiting, eagerly anticipating my stream. You're good, brilliant. Right, Roosterfield Fell is coming up. Keep it clean, keep it clean. Little bit of speeding won't hurt. I've read the book. Speeding won't hurt. See your stream. I'm your host, and ladies and gentlemen, your host this evening is Captain James. Everybody goes, Oh no! Right, there we go. Uh, Mr. Rogers. Thank you very much. It is the kind of thing though, you know, you guys are taking time out of your day to come and spend it with me. Watching me fail miserably at trains and take crazy snappity snaps of trains on bridges and doing my thing. And I really appreciate it. So that's me just being sentimental for a moment before I crash. Oh, oh yeah, we mustn't forget about me writing off trucks. Trains, yeah, but to see me write off the truck. That is something special. Right, next stop is Barnard Castle, where this Scenario will terminate. Let's go. Get out my way, lady. Right, let's get full Gronk power going. Let's wake up the countryside in Yorkshire. Is this Yorkshire? I don't know. Anyway, wherever it is we are. Let's wake up the countryside. Nobody's sleeping at 9 o'clock in the morning. Everybody get up. Hey, Jill, you've come off trucks to watch me for a bit. Thank you very much, Jill. How are you today? I do hope that you're well. Jill, is it you've come off your trucks to watch me or is it you've come off your trucks to make sure that Chris is behaving himself? Because we all know that Chris is a very punny guy. Right, well we've reached the top, so it's all downhill from here. So we can idle that. Speaking of which, next time we do ETS 2, you want to give me a challenge. Go on Euro 2 or Euro 3, and make it all the way up the Dunsburg Road without new... Uh, yeah, probably not going to happen. Is that a DMU trailer car? Uh, is a bit. You reckon a, a, oh, okay. a bit of both. <laughs> yes. We tried that this morning, you failed. Although it was quick jobs, you didn't lose any money either. I don't see me doing very well at that challenge, somehow irascible. Right, 
Right, we're starting to pick up speed down the hill. Um, yes, it is a, a DMU behind us. In part one, if I remember rightly, this broke down. So we're now tow towing it down uh, onwards to its destination. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers, since this is your neck of the woods, which county are we actually in here? Are we in Yorkshire or are we in somewhere else? You got reported twice for not doing anything, and you got 1%, 75% damage on one job on, on the other. On your trailer, that is. You didn't get paid for either. Ouch. Oh, we're in County Durham. Oh, okay. I didn't realise Durham was a county. I knew it was a city, because it's where Pink Panther comes from. But I didn't know that it was a, a county as well. Although, just thinking about it, I have heard of County Durham. Just never put it into mind that it was an actual county. So we're not in Yorkshire. Um, quick question guys, how does Bob Marley like his donuts? Yeah, two impatient drivers who couldn't wait sort of crashed in the back of your truck so blamed you by typing in chat that you was going to be reported, nothing happened. Well, if you're doing nothing wrong then nothing should happen. You know you're right, possibly... Oh, you live around here, do you? Ah, okay. <gasps> bridge! we got to get this one. Trains on the bridge. I see the bridge. I see the bridge. Trains on it too. Flange squeal. We need some glue. You had it on stream anyway. Ah, okay. Trains on the bridge. There we go. Better. There we go. That wasn't quite how I wanted it, but never mind. We'll do trains under a bridge as well. Do that from this side. Oh, yes, look at that. Clink, clink, clink. It's not steam, but it's pretty glorious. Um. Oh, you're in Darlington. Uh, have I been to... I haven't been to Darlington. Durham Cathedral, not far away from the ECML. Correct me if I'm wrong. I have no idea. I've never been to Durham either. <clears throat> the home of Tornado. The nearest you've been to Darlington is changing trains at the station. I've not even got that close. I will be one day. I'm sure I'll pass through Darlington on one of my trips up to Scotland. I'm still semi-dreading all this. And I still haven't even been in touch with the first one. I need to get onto that. Nothing to see at Darlington anymore. Go to Durham, it's much more interesting. Um, okay. I'll take your word for it. Right, we're slowing for the 15. Need to go slower. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're going to be well over a minute and a half early. Keep slowing. There we go. 
There's the 15. Are we crossing? Are we going on to single track here or something? 15. Yep. A single track section. Yeah, I had a nice Primus on the train down from Edinburgh to change again Danton so you can get another one on the next train. Ha <laughs> I like it, CK. Who ate all the pies? <laughs> Oh, CK, you set yourself up for that one. <laughs> oh, dear. So next time I'm on a train and I go to the buffet and they go, sorry, sir, we don't have. I'll know it was CK. I don't care. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, that was quick, you rascable. That was quick. <laughs> you can call me Puka if you want. <laughs> oh. Right, where are we? about a mile and a half out. Coming down a one in seventy five. <coughs> oh we're back on double track as well. No, no, uh, he possibly is CKS, because he has his van now. <coughs> we, we, I, since he's not here, we all need to club together, you know, and get him a cat. A nice little black and white cat. We need, we need to do it. We need to send him a black and white cat. Train. Another black five. That one's on a freight train. You're sure Nell and Sam, yeah, <laughs> Nelson and Sam would love that. Specifically, Sam. Breaking now for the 20. The starts at the signal. We're down to 20 now anyway. There's the signal giving us a clearing into Barnard Castle. <coughs> speeding two minutes ago. Right, over we go. Nice and gently in. And into Barnard Castle. And that has been quite nice for the last 45 minutes. I've enjoyed that. That was a nice run to start with. I don't want to be under there. Don't want to be under there. Break, 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 break. There we go. You people's going to have to walk. Oh, I ended up under there. TWS Josh, hello. Welcome. Right, 
Right, so that's that one done. What's next? We shall see. <clears throat> we would have loved to see this route end at Kirkby Stephen. Is Kirkby Stephen not on here? We're down here now. Oh no, just the portal. Okay. I knew that I'd recognise the name Kirkby Stephen. Right, you're now going to have a short break here while the station shunter moves D691 round the other end of the train. So you can continue on to Darlington in the final part. That's fine. Thank you very much. I enjoyed that. That was good. Right, we'll play part three of that another time. Apparently we were speeding eight times. Other than that, that was brilliant. Uh, Josh is going on to an adventure. Ooh, nice.